Hey, everybody. Two boys. One brain cell. We're not doing that, though. Forgot. It's a, a book review. We're, I just went to intro mode. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to intro mode. Um, we are reviewing No Effects, The Hepatitis Bathtub, and Other Stories by uh, Jeff no effects. A. Lewis and No Effects. Yeah. So I'm going to be a little rustier than somebody <laughs> because they took a little bit longer to read it. Sorry, some of us have jobs to do and can't just listen to books all day. Um, I need I you to call listen. Down. Okay, first of all, I'm going to need you to bring the sass <laughs> all the way down. <laughs> you know that can't be done. Uh, um, what do you think about this book, Chuck? Um, well, the way it opened up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, throttled me. Yeah, there, there, there is definitely. It was definitely. Um, I liked it. I liked. Like, how, I guess if I saw, if I thought about it, I could have saw it coming. Sure, but it throttled me just that being the opening story. Mm-hmm. Just like, damn. Normally, you get the stories like that during the meat and potatoes, like center of the book. But we said, screw, we're jumping right to it. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was hilarious that the intro of the book. Um, immediately, oh, yeah. immediately inappropriate, which is you know how you. You expect it from no effects. Oh, yeah. I just didn't expect that much right off the rip. That far, that, that quick? That far, that quick, yeah. I feel like that was as far as it went, realistically. Uh, I mean, it went pretty damn far. Don't get me wrong. It went pretty far, yeah. But, but, I mean, I like that they kept it 100% honest. Oh, it's so real. And you could tell, like, they were even saying in there, yeah, sorry, guys, because <laughs> I didn't. they didn't tell them. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I haven't told anybody this, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, th- that's what was I thought was crazy. There was a lot of amusing stories and a lot of real, some real shit. Oh too. yeah, that's like a lot of real shit. It was like honestly a roller coaster of emotions. Oh yeah, because I was like, you know, one moment you're laughing, and the next you're like, oh shit, it got real, you know. And then and then at certain times, like it almost felt like they were just fucking around. <clears throat> Yeah. Like, some of the stories were just so off the wall, you felt like they were jokes. And then you're sitting there thinking, oh, shit, no, that happened. Oh, no, I'm a dick. Why did I laugh at that? (laughs) Yeah. And it, it, like, just rips you apart a little bit. Yes. Yeah. No, I I really liked it. It it was, like, at parts I was dying, you know, highly inappropriate. And then there's other parts where I was, like, legitly, like, Damn, and there was even some parts that brought brought little tears to my to my eyes. I could see how that could happen. Yeah, especially towards the end of the book. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, one of them really did me was the uh, the dude's mom. Yep. That part really. That, that Mike's mom. Oh yeah. That yeah. Got that me. got that's what got me too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. All in all, I really liked that it was uh, that it was like that though. Like it started off like hilarious. Oh yeah. And then it got into some real shit, but it still kept some jokes going, right? Yep. And like jokes are not not even jokes, just wild stories that were like oh yeah funny, and they were you know the way they told them were, oh, yeah. were really well done. Absolutely. Um. But yeah, there was definitely some some harrowing shit. Oh yeah, and honestly, if if I wasn't, you know, the kind of person who I never wanted to do drugs, yeah. never had an interest in oh, doing any yeah. of those harder drugs. Yep. After this book, you definitely don't want to. You, hell yeah. no. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, one hundred percent. It was basically a. Uh, it scared you straight if you weren't already. There. Oh yeah, like they laid it all out there. Yep. Talking about you know, I think one of the parts he he actually said, "Hey, I, I, as I was um, injecting someone, he's like." Now, welcome to hell. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. And, and then they went in depth on how it is hell. And they were spitting all this wild stuff and how it numbs you to everything. All the different things that you wind up, that they all wound up doing. Yep. And if you, it's basically like if you weren't aware of what somebody who is an addict goes through, it would yeah. they like really paint a picture for you. Um, I really like that aspect. Too. I did too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and... The, uh, oh my gosh, what was I going to say about it? Oh, the, the scene in general, the punk scene. Oh, yeah. That they grew up in. So much different than the punk scene we have. I've gone to hundreds of different concerts. Mm-hmm. And none of them were as rowdy as, as the shit that they were talking about. Uh-uh. I've and been I've, to a lot of them. We've, we've seen a lot of, like, little fights break out. 
but nothing like yeah, what they like, were talking about. Like one guy who's drunk and yeah. swinging. <laughs> you know, that's like I've gone to metal shows, metal core, like you name it. I mean, I've been to almost a, a lot of yeah. different kinds of genres and I've never really encountered the rowdiness that they talked about in the scene, like the, what is it, the mm-hmm. early 80s of the punk scene? Yeah. yeah that's nuts. Talking like, about the, showing up, you're wearing the wrong things so you get the sheet beat out of you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, my. Like punk gangs and stuff, too? Yeah. It's a lot different. That than one that. threw me off. Yeah, it's crazy. Threw me off a lot because I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Really? <laughs> I know. But I did like he was talking about uh, <laughs> the, what was it? The punk voting thing? Oh, uh, punk against Bush? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Well, fighting for what he believes in, that's for damn sure. Yeah, and I, I thought it was cool how they broke that down even, too. Oh, yeah. Um, No, I, all in all, this was really well written. And like I said, I like that it started off with shocking and then slowly softened you up. Like, I, oh, it, yeah. I wouldn't say softened you up because, you know, like I said, there was... Like you pointed out, there's a lot of stuff in there that was pretty dark. Yeah. But by the end, you know, it was like just a, uh, hey, we all are humans here, you know. Yeah. We all have, uh, I don't know. We all have our issues. Yeah. And I, oh, dude, it was kind of, the another part that kind of threw me is they brought old members back. That was awesome. Ones that like. I was confused Dipped out well. before they blew up. Yeah. Like. Um. They brought everybody from the, the whole thing back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, he said, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed their stories too. But it was a lot of backstory. But it was like, like they went oh, through yeah. their whole backstory to lead up to that point. Yeah. I did find that interesting myself. I, I did, but I'm like, um, I didn't know we were going to be like, I, I was interested more in the no effects that the band we the know currently. Now, yeah. Yeah. Rather than the old. That's people, what I meant by why I was surprised. Yeah. Cause I was like, oh, wow. We're getting the entire background yeah. of each person but, that's ever been in this. Oh Yeah. And their stories were pretty gnarly, too. Yeah. I mean, you had uh, the one guy was more straight edge. Oh, yeah. The guy that, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, super straight edge and versus we, them. And our our ability to remember names is just trash. So, apologies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you, uh, what are you writing this book out of uh, five? Out of five? Yeah. I know no, we normally do ten, but I did five because that's what Goodreads says. But we can do ten if you prefer. We can do five. Um. Mm. Well, based on the fact that I I would be perfectly fine reading it again, um, I'm gonna go with a. Do we do half? You can if you want. All right, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna go with a three and a half. Okay, definitely very solid. Actually, I'd probably go more three eight three point eight if I really wanted to break things down more. Okay, um, because it was it was really good. And they definitely kept me intrigued. Yeah. Just kept me hanging on. And you never really read a book like this before, the no. band doc. No, I haven't. Okay. And they, they kept me intrigued. The only the only complaint I would have at all is with the audiobook itself. What's up? That it was read slower. You have a speed up button. I did that. I was listening to it yeah. at one point. That's, that's why I designed that. Yeah. yeah. Really? That was your issue with it? That was it. Oh, okay. That that would well. Yeah. Interesting. I read it at slowest speed. I didn't have any problems with it. You read it at one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was at 1.5. Interesting. Okay. Um, honestly, it's a flat five for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, this there this was go. really good. No, I, I really enjoyed this. Damn. It's right. not hard. If it's a good book, I don't hesitate yeah. to rate it in a five. I mean. Yeah. I mean, you are much different oh, with yeah. the book re- ratings. I forgot how picky you are. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, that book is good. That's a three. What the fuck? <laughs> if I'm willing to read it again, it's automatically a three. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> that, that's that's where it starts. If I'm not willing to read it again, it's below a three. Yeah, I'm soft on my book reviews, for sure. But you're you're also more of a book guy than I am. I love books. When it comes to reading or sure. diving in. Yeah. I do enjoy a good book, though. Absolutely. I just, I can't do the whole sitting down and reading a hard copy very well. Yeah. I, I My brain goes everywhere else. I get distracted no, I'm, and I'm I, done. I can understand that. Yeah. It's hard for me just because the kiddos. But. Yeah. Guys, that has been our review of No Effects and the Hepatitis Bathtub. And other stories. Yeah. 
glad we uh, checked this one out for sure. Absolutely. Is there anything else you would like to add before we uh, dip out here, bud? I don't think so. Okie dokie, guys. Do us a favor. If you enjoyed our review, hit that like button. And until next time, peace out.